Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you up with hope. Today, this is a casual video from my back deck. I am going to ask for some inspiration for myself. It is Mother's Day after all that in the United States here where I'm when I'm recording this video. And I've had a nice weekend and, a, and an enjoyable day, very casual day and try not to work too much, but I kind of want to work, you know, <laughs> but I try not to work too much and I could really use some inspiration myself, some pick me up energy. I went to an event yesterday and I was an attendee, a participant, and it was like a yoga, a wellness kind of a thing. And it was quite enjoyable, but it was very, it was kind of strange for me a bit because I became very aware of how incredibly acutely I use energy as a level of discernment when I meet people. And I am not willing to um, socialize or just hang out with people just because that's what you do. I am much more of a, I am much more of in a place in my life where I take a stand for what feels right to me and what doesn't. And I don't have to explain myself or apologize or anything like that. But if I'm, I meet someone and their energy just doesn't feel awesome to me, then I'm not going to hang out with them because chances are our energy is not compatible and I'm probably not going to feel awesome to them. And it's just going to be too much effort and too much work. And I probably sound very antisocial and maybe I am a little bit, but I just care too much about energy in the way I feel and the incredible people that we have the opportunity in our lifetimes to meet that I want to meet the people that are in right alignment for me to meet and spend time with and get to know, you know? And there were a couple of, like, there was a couple of really wonderful energetic people that I was like, oh, wow, you have great energy, you know? And then there's some other people that are, like, practitioners or trying to do work for other people. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, oh. I'm sure they mean well, but I'm like, oh, my goodness. Like, somebody was trying to educate me about uh, chakras. <laughs> I was kind of like... Oh, I didn't want to be rude or anything and be like, yeah. I said, oh, yes, I understand about chakras. I know. And, and she's like, okay, well, I want you to do this for me. I'm like, no, 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 thank you. You know, and I just kind of, I didn't want to be rude and, and I didn't want to burst a bubble. But I'm also like, you should probably ask someone and meet them where they're at. You know, talk to someone, engage them more. I mean, I think she was just really excited to talk about her work and stuff. But I'm like, um, it really kind of made me realize that I need to be much more in awareness about where you guys are and when I explain things about energy and some of the work that I do because I know I take it for granted I know I do I know I know I take it for granted that I just it's natural to me it's no big deal to me to talk to dead people to talk to spirit to talk to angels to talk to guides to connect with energy to see stuff it's no big deal to me but I know for you guys it's not you know and I have to try to make sure that I'm I remember that and I'm kind about the way that I share and describe things that way. So that was a good reminder for me, I think, yesterday. But I could sure use a pick-me-up, especially because it seems like everybody in our, like, little country neighborhood here is outside mowing the lawn and using leaf blowers <laughs> and driving the tractors. And I'm like, oh, it's Mother's Day. Can I please take a break? <laughs> Can I please have some quiet? No, probably not going to get that. You'll probably hear that in this video. And I have my new sunglasses on for my trip. I just came back from holiday. I was technically supposed to be working. I only worked a little bit. It was tough to work when I was away. Really tough to work when I was away. Oh my goodness. But I got these great new sunglasses. And so I'm wearing them today. And the sun is kind of in and out of the clouds. It's kind of being a little bit uh, flirtatious today, I guess you'd say the sun is. So, all right. So who is going to be the pick-me-up guest today for me? It's going to have to be somebody pretty awesome since uh, I have to listen to the neighbor in his tractor. <laughs> you guys. Let's invite Freddie Mercury in. How about that? We haven't talked to Freddie. Are you ready, Freddie? I haven't talked to him for a while. He's got a big pink boa on. It's light pink with a little bit of white and kind of silver on it. And he's trying to be lighthearted. He's honoring the pink of the heart chakra when I was talking about energy. You guys know that if you watch the playlist for Freddie Mercury, you know that one of his big things in the afterlife is to help sensitive people, which, hello, most of us are. That's how we connect. That's how we communicate. And in fact, you are so intuitive in your heart. And oftentimes we don't recognize that as a strength. We see it as a weakness. 
wearing your heart on your sleeve. It's like a weakness. Oh, you're too sensitive. You're so sensitive. <laughs> people, people that are watching, these are good things. Aren't they, Freddie? Aren't they good? All right, can you come over real close, like? Oh, yes, 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 yes. All right, he says, you need a cat. No, I don't need a cat, my dear. <laughs> you need a cat, he says. There's a white one with a little bit of gray on it. And so he says, you need a cat. <laughs> a cat? Yeah, I need one more high maintenance thing to take care of. Okay, yeah, I do. This is Mother's Day. I'm not supposed to take care of anybody <laughs> by myself. So, Freddie, you need to take care of me. <laughs> Can you take care of me? Oh, he says, you're a wonderful mother, darling. You're a wonderful mother. All right. So, you know, interesting. So I happen to be looking at some of my emails and some of the comments on our um on Above Life channel on YouTube. Yes, I do read the comments. And it is so crazy when people write, she says this, or, you know, she does that, or she does this, like I'm not even there or watching, you know? And then I like, I'm like, um, hello, she has a name. My name is Bridget. <laughs> and she reads her comments. <laughs> kind of sassy about that a little bit. I should be, huh? I am a little. But um, I noticed that somebody asked about Mary and you and about children. And I guess... You maybe had relationships with women or there's some kind of question about that. And why didn't you like that? Mary maybe wanted a baby, but you didn't want to have a baby with her or something. And you said it was because you didn't really think of her that way. Can you talk about that in relationships? He says, and then he says right away to me, we were talking about you. We were going to cheer you up. We weren't going to talk about me, <laughs> my romantic life. He said, it might be quite dull for you to hear about my romantic life with women. That's what he's saying. With women. Okay, okay, okay. All right. And besides, Mary is still here on this planet, on this plane, and it's not very polite to chit-chat about her um, and talk about private matters, matters that are private. And so we are not, not going to do that. But let's talk about Princess Diana because she's in the afterlife and she just had another grandbaby, a beautiful boy, baby boy. And so England, you know, they get kind of uh, excited about the royal babies. And so do we in the United States. Do you have anything to say about that or share about that with Princess Diana and her little grand grandchild and such? He says, children are a blessing. They're such a joy, aren't they? It's like everything is brand new. Like there's nothing, there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. They're just little perfect little beings. Yeah, they are. I agree with you at first. <laughs> At first there until they become teenagers. You never had to do that. You never had to have, you never had to, you never had children of your own. Do you feel bad about that? Like, do you miss that? Like, you, you would never have the opportunity to be a grandfather. He says, I was a godparent. It looks like three. I don't know if he had three godchildren or two, two or three, two, almost three or two of three. He's showing me for godchildren. If you guys know, write in the comments below. We're skipping around a bit, Freddie, because I want to keep this interesting and, you know. I, I'm the one that wanted to chat with you and get a little pick-me-up. And Princess Diana is definitely a pick-me-up and positive energy vibes. So did you ever want to have children of your own? He says, by the time I thought of it, it was, it was far too late, he says. And you have to remember, he says to me all the time, Bridget, you have to remember, in, in those days, it wasn't possible. You know, adoption was very rare. Um, marriage was rare for um, same-sex marriage wasn't a thing. It was... It was so taboo. Everything was so taboo about the relationships that I, I had about love, man, you know, with another man. And it just wasn't feasible. It just wasn't something that really I could allow myself to think of. So what? go back to Mary then. I mean, I know we don't want to talk too much about her private stuff and the stuff that's private between the two of you guys. I mean, I want to be respectful, but at the same time, you could have had... People have babies together all the time that are friends now. You know, there's sperm donors and egg donors and surrogates and all sorts of things like that. And he says, again, he says, that's today. This is your time now. He says, during the time when I would have had children, it's not, that was not, none of those things were really that possible. They weren't really anything anyone ever thought about or talked about. It wasn't, it wasn't common. It wasn't even something to be entertained or to discuss, be discussed. And I'm happy that Mary had children. She wanted to have children and I'm happy that she had children. And I wanted that for her and I, I want her children to be happy and I want her to be happy. And that's all I've ever wanted. 
I don't know if I could ask her to have a baby for me or I don't know if it's even right for a man to ask a woman that. And he says, it's usually the other way around, isn't it? It, it seems like so much with their body that I, I would feel almost intrusive. And that is a lot. That is a lot to ask, he says. So nowadays, would that be different? I mean, do you think if you were here now, would you, and you were, you know, young enough to think about having children? And he says, well, absolutely, I would consider that. He says, but really, really, my life, my life, the nature of my life would not be, would not be supportive of a family of children, like traveling and the way that I make music and but even, but Freddie, even if you were to live later on, so you're in your late 40s, let's say, and your 50s, and your mid 50s, say you're like 55, and and then what? I mean, are, would you still be singing, producing music? What would you be doing? He said, he said, making music, making music, singing if I'm able, as I'm able, and writing, collaborating, lots of different kinds of creative projects. I would, I would be doing so many different things and I would be traveling and that would require a great deal of time away and that would not be fair to a family. He says, a significant other is one thing, a partner is one thing, but, but children are, are a whole another world. And while they are lovely and wonderful and, and, ex and just incredible beings of light, I don't know that that was ever really in the plan for me. And then he says, I'm at peace with that. I am at peace with that. I am. I am, yes. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, thank you for that. That was really sweet that you shared. And so, Princess Diana, so what's it like in the afterlife? Like, have you seen her? Have you connected? He says, Bridget, you know it's different. It's not, it's not as though there's a lounge and we all have drinks together. <laughs> but if we were to, yes, you could say that we've been connected, yes. And he says, she is a lot of fun. She is a lot of fun. She is a lot of fun. She has a wonderful personality, a generous spirit. And she is so very proud of her family. And I am very, very happy for her and for their family, for the new baby. And she sa he says, I think he'll be beautiful and do some wonderful things in the world. And he has just so, so many good things to say. So he's just very happy, very happy for her. Yes, yes, very, very, very happy, very happy for her. He's, uh, and he's showing me kind of like a reverse baby shower, like in the afterlife, like before the baby comes in to the earthly plane, like there's like a celebration there, and then the baby comes in, then the spirit incarnates. So can you tell us anything about the baby, about Archie? I mean, I know you're just a friend of Diana's, you know, and we're not asking Diana specifically, but like, is he reincarnated from someone else? He says, well, of course, of course he is. Well, can you tell me who he was, or is it somebody famous, or is it American, or is it? English. <laughs> he says, you'll have to ask her about that. I think you'll have to ask her about that. He says, that is not my secret to tell. <laughs> that is not my secret to tell. He says, but that is a fabulous question. That is, that is a fantastic question. He says, <laughs> all right, you guys, I have to ask that. I have to talk with Princess Diana. I think I do. And she's a lovely interview. He says, oh, yes, very, very beautiful, beautiful and generous spirit. Yes, she is. All right, my friends, this is Bridget. You have been watching this video. This is my first video of the season out on my beautiful back deck here in Minnesota. It is May, it is springtime, and finally the sun is starting to come out. Finally it's getting warm enough where I don't have to wear a parka and a hat and a scarf and mitts <laughs> the whole nine yards, you know? And so I look forward to be able to share more videos outdoors with you now here as we go into spring and the summer season as well. Again, this is Bridget. You've been watching Above Life channel. This particular channeling video is a bit of an inspiration. I wanted to pick me up kind of chat and who better than to ask than to have our friend Freddie Mercury from the afterlife pop in on this beautiful uh, United States Mother's Day, Mother's Day in the U.S. today. And 
give us a pick me up and chat with us so thank you so much for that remember the purpose here is to inspire your spirit to fill you up with hope because this (laughs) this right now right here is your life so live it just live it thanks for watching